Onimusha. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play Onimusha. It's funny. I'm like really interested in all these old games that have tank controls, but I'm not not really a fan of tank controls. <laughs> the fixed camera angle kills me on the inside. Yeah, save your items for the third night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dreamy had to uh, redo her playthrough. She used all her good... Uh... You can enjoy very real realistic sound by setting the... What? What was that? <laughs> what did you... What say you, Resident Evil Sur Survivor? This was in the year 2000. Interesting. New game, load game, option. What options we got? Uh, restarting the timer. Resident Evil game number four. Almost 38 hours of Resident Evil so far this month. Nothing too interesting in here. Oh. Normal? Easy? What do you think, Cherry? You've played this. Normal or easy? Does it really matter? You love the music in this game. Every time you hear the PS1 intro, yeah, it brings back good memories. Dude, my my childhood. I I loved PS1 growing up. Resident Evil Survivor. Survivor. Normal it is. Used to play this back in eighth grade. I didn't even know about this game until Cherry was talking about it. A disaster struck quiet Midwestern residents of Raccoon City. Game's not hard. That's what everyone said about RE1. Outbreak of the umbrella created T virus transformed the city into an inescapable death trap. I'm pumped for this. Yeah, PS1 library is awesome, man. Umbrella Incorporated was forced to wipe out the New experience for Atari Beer Pong too. Glad you're here, man. Thanks again for that raid. Fox played Ari Survivor. Uh, it said 2000. Um, it's on my spreadsheet. Let me check. I think I have the release dates. The original release date was August 30th, 2000. Not long before the PS2 launch. After Ari 2, yeah. Ari 2 was 1998. You're not going to get away. January 1998. After RE3, yeah. Oh god, it's skipping a little bit. Please. Please just work. Because RE3 was 1999, yeah. This came out almost a year after Resident Evil 3. It's very like... It's more like Silent Hill 1 graphics. You can tell this was a later PS1 release. A bit of frame skips, yeah. Fuck. Fuck, 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 please. I hope... Why don't, why don't my games just work, man? I've been cursed with these PS1 games. Resident Evil Survivor, yeah, Cassette Cobra. My head aches and I can't remember anything. My only hope is this gun. Yeah, there's no Resident Evil on Xbox. Like, the original Xbox. As far as I know. Where am I? Pretty sure there isn't. Oh. RE2 on Xbox One, gotcha. I... I don't remember anything. Who am I? You talking about the, uh... The remake? Sega DS1. Excited. PS1 games are supposed to be resistant, but can be easily damaged. Yeah, right? They look like they're tough. They look like they're tough, thick discs. But man, I have I've had bad luck with these uh, PS1 games that I've bought lately. Japanese in amnesia condition, right? 
Code Veronica X was available th for 360. Yeah, I when I play uh, Code Veronica X as the version I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play the Xbox One version on on a on a Series X. Oh, use the joystick to run. Thank you. Crash Team Racing, dude, I loved Crash, te Crash Team Racing. Yeah. I played the shit out of Crash 1, 2, and 3, and uh, Crash Team Racing. Analog stick to run. I'm still... I'm still walking. My condition is fine. Analog stick feels so much better. The RE games released on Wii? Not this year. Familiar, but Maybe next year. Uh, Maybe the year after? Mm. Not sure. But I just can't remember. Code Veronica on Dreamcast was awesome. Mark Thompson, huh? Though I can't remember anything, I know that this was no way for anyone to die. No 4K on your monitor? What? How do I... Okay. Key. Love this asshole. <laughs> Rusted key. I think my my monitor that I'm using to uh, display OBS has a it's a 240 hertz, um, 144p. So like the the like you know, 2K resolution basically. Use key in the big door. Yeah, I'm so used to talking about original Xbox. Yeah. Hey, mystical machine gun. You played Dreamcast. Uh, you played uh, RE2 and Code Veronica. How do I reload? Automatic reload, or is there a reload button? This is your favorite path. Umbrella Church. This game is so interesting. I feel like the, the rail shooting aspect of it works, you know? You, you press R1 and it kind of zooms in on the guy. Loading, damn it. Conquer's Bad Fur Day on OG Xbox is pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of bummed that they censored it so much, though. Have to say, you have to, you have to beat the game to play the uh, uncensored version of the game. Oh fuck. Oh, uh, I got it. Clock Winder. Okay. There's no, there's no reload, is there? Oh, you can turn? Interesting. Chapel key. Yeah, FPS-ish gallery shooter. Yeah, it's it 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 feels kind of like a rail shooter, but the the shooting like it feels natural. Like it's it's kind of hard to pull that off. I think the 16 terabyte internal HDD patch for Xbox 360. That sounds badass. Yeah, the entire OG and 360 libraries plus some emulation. That sounds awesome. That's a uh, an Xbox 360 mod. Little tip enemies can't hit you in this game from your back, only on front. That is good to know. That's funny. But uh, yeah, welcome into Void V3. I have a I have a modded uh, Xbox 360. I think it has a four terabyte drive. I'm not totally sure. It's got like, I think I have like 900, maybe maybe a thousand 
Xbox 360 games on it. Not quite the full library. Yeah, I can move and reload. Tried to install RetroArch on your Series X and it failed. I, I don't know anything about RetroArch. Wish I could help. Ari Survivor has the same style of gameplay as Die Hard on PS1. Yeah, it does. Right? Can you move around on your own on that one? Or is it like more of a classic rail shooter where it moves for you and you just have to aim? I've just seen that game played a bit. OG Xbox you got for free is modded? Nice. You have two modded OG Xboxes? Score. Hey Sardarino, welcome in man. Hope you're having a good night. Or... Yeah, it'd be nighttime for you. Pretty sure. <laughs> two terabyte systems for people, the cheap option. 300 to 350 games. Yeah, I think I think the four terabyte that I have has uh, it has a bunch of smaller games like the uh, Xbox Live Arcade games, some Japanese only games, pretty interesting. Some of the Bullet Hell games on there. I'm having a good night, man. This the, this game seems fun. We just started it. some league games with the community nice yeah 1am for you so yeah you're, you're you're a couple hours ahead of me today the leaders of each section of the city including myself attended a meeting with the commander the briefing was on the destruction of raccoon city during the conference everyone was everyone placed blame on william birkin he betrayed the company and wanted to keep the G-Virus for himself. The commander told us that if there is a traitor like Birkin in the city, we should execute him immediately and without question. I wholeheartedly agree with the commander's orders. The city is as vital to Umbrella as the laboratory in Raccoon City was. No, it's actually more, much more important. Must not allow a biohazard to happen in the city. We cannot let... Umbrella's efforts to buy the, the city and establish these billion dollar facilities go to waste. We should keep a closer eye on the behavior of personnel in the future. The church manager's notes. Yeah, I'm liking this music. Yeah, thanks for stopping in, Sardarino. Get some sleep, man. Hopefully I'm not going to be up too much later. Green herb? I've obtained green herb. Do I have an... Yeah, item? Infinite handgun bullets. Good. I have a clock winder. No item. Green herb. Handgun A. So you can reload in the menu. Good to know. <laughs> yeah, Cherry's having a good one. I waited, I waited for Cherry to show up. She's the one that, um, she's the reason I added this game to the list. I wanted to stream it for her pretty much. And also I wanted to experience the game myself, of course. Pretty, pretty unique title. This old clock is not working. You've used the clock winder. Look at that. That's nice. I didn't have to guess and go into my menu and hope that it works. I just used it automatically. Yeah, I, I appreciate you, Cherry. Hey, 3D Blast Me. It's, uh, it's going good. Good stream tonight. We finished Resident Evil 1. I got a I got a new disc. Yeah, Dreamy really wanted to see uh wanted to see this game too. Oh god. I wanted to I wanted to play this for uh for Cherry and Dreamy. Come 
Combine. Resident Evil Gaiden. This is Resident Evil Survivor 3D Blasphemy. It was a. Uh, it came out in the year 2000 on the PS1. I don't know if it was ported to anything else. Pretty interesting kind of blend of like this first person shooter slash real shooter style. Still has the classic sort of elements that the original PS1 RE games had. It's interesting. This came out after Resident Evil 3. Uh, Church's rear key. Good to have. Play this with 3D glasses. Resident Evil Guidance, the only game you hate, Cherry. The only Resident Evil game you hate. What's it for? It's it kind of sounds like a like a Game Boy game or something. I don't know much about it. Game Boy Color. <laughs> That's why you hate it. It's a Game Boy Color game. <laughs> You should definitely redeem it. Okay, a church rear door was used. Fuck. Let me do a do a cheap reload. Oops. Ah, you piece of shit. Nice. So there's a phone ringing. scared of Game Boy Color. The phone hang up. <laughs> is, that, is that what it said? The phone hang up. <laughs> I can't read any of that. It's locked. Oh, you have to hold square to run. Okay. Can I run backwards? No. I can only run forward. Locked from the other side. Can't go in there. This game is super interesting. Let's go. Let's let's get a powerful handgun. Have some fun stuff to play. Oh boy. Can't wait. Let's get the powerful handgun though. More firepower per shot. Sounds good to me. So there's this way, there's this way. Go to the library once I get the key. Revelations was interesting, yeah. From the 3DS to the PC. I played Revelations on Xbox One, I think. Fuck. Cracked key? Is that the key you mean, Cherry? Fuck those things. Fucking 
liquors, right? Liquors, <laughs> they're, they're a pain in the ass. Yeah, I bet, I bet the Gears of War games run really well on Series X. Who's that? Wait. The closed doors are other paths Vincent? you can use in another run. Vincent, That's the key. Go straight down. A murderer. A murderer? What are you talking about? Answer me. Yeah, hopefully I can get Who a shotgun or something. Mysterious. The phone hang up. Gears of War on System Link, yeah. I used to do a bunch of uh, land parties. Uh, shit. Well, did I did I go the wrong way? Sorry, it's just habit to uh, try all the doors. Remember your mission. We're doing a clean sweep of the area. Everyone and everything must be cleansed. Now move out! I used to do Gears of War um, horde mode land parties. Super fun. I'll have the fast reload shotgun. Shit. That's like the one that I wanted the least. It's too late to go back now, right? What's that? <laughs> yeah, locked in. Did he just make a jaguar sound? That's alright. I don't think it's the end of the world. Aha, uh -huh. Dino Crisis poster. Dino Crisis. I like all these arcade machines. Cat sounds. Let's go. Okay, let's not go that way. This way. This game's cool. <clears throat> the enemies are fun. Ready to shoot. Ready. They have long arms. Whoa. <laughs> what the? Whoa. <laughs> Catman. Die, Enemies. Vincent. Die. Bro. <laughs> he just slides over. Good game. So that guy's just killing everybody. What'd that say? Damn it, tell me. What did it say? What did it say? It won't activate, whatever. Let's get the key. Arcade key. I guess that's the locked door right next to me. Got any more enemies in here for me? Use the arcade key. Game is so simple. It's it's elegant in its simplicity. These guys make panther sounds. <laughs> it's gold. Main hole opener. Looks like a, a crowbar to me, but okay. At least now I know what to use it for.
That's how I feel, Cherry. <laughs> I have work in the morning too. I'm gonna try to try to push through the game a little bit. Got a first aid spray, alright. Warriors of Rock? Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock? I was looking for that, yeah. Do we have it? Is it just floating around somewhere? I thought I I thought I gave it to a friend. And he never gave it back. I'm refreshing my webcam. Oh. You have it. Okay. Cool. Handgun C. Uh, I have the Hero 8 GoPro. Cat noises and green puff of smoke when you kill them. <laughs> yeah, what, what are these enemies? I don't know. Um... Okay. <laughs> you just have to walk onto it. Yeah, I think the I think the difference from the 7 and the 8 is pretty significant. I went with the 8. The difference between 9 and 10 and versus 8, it doesn't seem super worth it for the price. I think I think 8 is the is the sweet spot as far as GoPros go. The only problem with this one, I don't know if yours does this uh, devoid um when I use it as a webcam, it freezes every six hours, so I have to uh, I have to disconnect it and reconnect it. It just takes a second. I just have to remember to do it, or it just freezes on a single frame. So when I do like a 24-hour stream, I have to remember every six hours refresh the camera. <laughs> it is really weird. Yeah, I jumped two to four because that's complicated. I. RE1 was game number two. RE3 was game number three. So I, I don't know. It, do, it doesn't really make sense, but it's over. We're on game number four. I've, I've beaten, RE0 was game number one. RE3 was the second one that I beat. The third one I beat was RE1. It was all, it was all jumbled up. Because, uh, because my discs stopped working play them in canon order not necessarily loosely release date order sort of uh sewer caretaker andy's diary re2 after this yeah yeah i just wanted to play this one tonight to uh to knock it off the list and then we'll start re2 tomorrow finish it up next weekend ut troopers are their names <laughs> M-E-O-W's <laughs> Never seen him, but I heard that one called Vincent has become the city's supreme commander. Officially, he is an elite sent by Umbrella Headquarters. In truth, he is such a fiend that he would not hesitate to kill his friend if it would promote him. Well, since I live here in this dark sewer, it doesn't mean anything to me. I heard a disgusting rumor, the new Commander Vincent orders the facility personnel to, to do savage experiments every day on kids brought in from all over the world. I don't even know why those kids were brought to the city, but it sure is disturbing. Well, I don't want to get involved, so as long as it doesn't affect me. Uh, it seems some terrible accident happened above ground last night. I don't know any more details, but I heard that Commander Vincent had done something cruel. Today at last, Commander Vincent has come down here for an inspection. We made small talk, but I could hardly... I could see nothing but cruelty in him. When I took a picture of him as a souvenir, he became very angry. He's such a jerk. The sewer manager, Andy, is talking a bunch of shit about me. A picture? This game was supposed to be canon, but it sold so little 
and people hated it. They <laughs> kept on. No. Capcom took it back. This is me. I am Vincent. It was all my fault. This is meant to take place between two and three. Who are you? Wait. Please don't kill me. I, I didn't know anything about you then. Vincent's got a small head. Stop. If you see him from a from a side profile. He's just got a large body, I guess. <laughs> you want Vincent in another, uh, another game? Shotgun bullets, there we go. Nothing else in here. The items are very easy to see in this. This is after two and three. Just a little bit after three. Ladder. What'd it say? I missed it. Ah, whatever. She's gonna keep doing that to me. can use this ladder though. Is there a map? I feel like I'm gonna get lost. <clears throat> Enemies? Yeah, I'm backtracking right now, aren't I? I just came out of the manhole. I'm back in here. Right? That looks familiar. Yeah. Got turned around. Because my path loops back around. Um, do I go up that other ladder that's over here? <clears throat> the one here? So I tried going up here. Manhole lid is closed. Nope. I'll keep going this way, I guess. Or not. Locked from the other side. Back to this room. Another door through here. I need to see if this game has a map. It'd be much easier to navigate. Okay, we're on the right track. Map? Yes. Alright. Fuck the liquors, man. Not dealing with them. <clears throat> Paradise. Let's go. How did I miss this? Yeah, I'm using the right handgun, right? Oh. 
It does sh reload really fast, to be fair. Is it faster to just empty the clip instead of going into the boss menu? <laughs> this is on some umbrella controlled island after Raccoon City gets nuked. Oh. Uh, The Japanese EU versions were light gun enabled. The North American version had light gun features removed. Interesting. Wonder why. He was dead. Bastard. <laughs> because of school shootings in the US? <laughs> That's a weird. Oh uh, yes, because there's a direct link between light gun games and school shootings. <laughs> Obviously. The island existed even first in here. Umbrella made their experiment. So Umbrella had this island and they were doing experiments here. Prison Chief's Diary. <clears throat> Today we received a reply to our report about the incident where 20 guinea pigs committed suicide the other day. The headquarters does not seem to have any suspicious suspicions and says that they plan to gather replacement guinea pigs soon. It's too late, but now I'm starting to regret that I sent a fake report of a mass suicide incident when it was actually a mass escape. However, as long as I stay in this city, it means death to me if I f dare to oppose to Commander Vincent. I'll never forget the cruel smile of Vincent <clears throat> when he was shooting at the boys who tried to escape from the prison on that night. It looked as if he were killing a bunch of insects. Commander Vincent is indeed a very cold-blooded person, just as he is rumored to be. He's a true monster. I am in a position where I'm supposed to report the truth to headquarters, but I'm so afraid of Commander Vincent, I don't know what to do. Yeah, they did the same experiments in Raccoon City as this island. Prison cell key. Need some water. All this reading. <clears throat> yep. I thought that might happen, damn it. This gun's got a slower rate of fire, too, than the uh, pistol. A. Oh, you automatically reload if you go through doors. <clears throat> Use the prison key. Rope. Where's my light gun? 
Apparently the uh, American version of this game doesn't have light gun support. There are three pistols. They each have pretty different stats, huh? Yeah, there's, it's a give and take for each one. <clears throat> Not seeing any items. We can go through here. <clears throat> but yeah, creature, we finished uh, RE1 not too long ago. Oh, we got some naked zombies. My favorite. Sounds like he's right behind me. Yeah, he was like <laughs> right next to me. Yeah, naked zombies return. Yeah, I was looking at the posters too. I was like, hmm. Some more good looking posters. Uh, what did that say? His neck has been cut open by a sharp blade. Young man's diary. One has more power, but oh, only eight bullets. The other shoots really fast, but reloads slower. Maybe the shooting fast would be good because you can just pause and reload. An imprisoned boy's diary. 16 days have passed since I was abducted on a street in Congo by the men in black and was brought here. I didn't understand what was happening at first, but I gradually became aware of the truth of the city. We seem to be confined here to serve as guinea pigs for a medical company called Umbrella Inc. All the residents of the city work for Umbrella, even the women and children are family members of the employees. The guinea pigs seem to be gathered from all over the world. The guy in the room next to me is from China. The one in front of my cell is Brazil. The rest are Russian, Japanese. It's like a world trade show. It's strange that they are all around my age. The youngest is 16, the oldest is 19 or 20. Those guys from Umbrella sometimes take us to an arcade or to a nightclub so we can enjoy ourselves and relieve our stress. But I won't let them deceive me. I will escape from this place no matter what it takes. I must. Anyway, the most important thing to do now is to organize and gather our comrades for what lies ahead. Recently, the others have been behaving strangely. It seems that they put some kind of weird drug into our meals. I sometimes lose consciousness too. I have to be careful. Can't believe it. Another friend of mine, Chin, from the next room was taken to the factory on the mountain. I don't think Chin's coming back. We will meet the same fate as Anna or Jacob who disappeared last week. I, I know what happens to those who are taken to the factory on the mountain. When they took me to a nightclub yesterday, I overheard a conversation that some factory workers were having. Under orders from Vincent, the commander of the city, they cut open our brains and extract some sort of material, whatever they call it. All I can say is that Vincent is a devil. No, not just Vincent, not even the women and children. No, even the women and children in the city don't treat us as human beings, but as guinea pigs. All the people in the city are evil. I will surely be killed if I stay here any longer. Uh, we have to hurry and es execute our escape plan. The time has come. I've noticed the Umbrella people have been visibly disturbed for about a week or so. Rumor has it that there was a terrible accident in the Umbrella factory uh, laboratory <clears throat> somewhere in America. All the prison guards seem to be very busy gathering information on the accident, so security isn't as tight. We've organized our comrades already. Uh, Stojkovic and Enriquez are supposed to steal the keys from the guards. Stankon and I will act as decoys, and Yoshikawa and Felipe are in charge of gathering weapons. We're at a whole damn novel here, man. <clears throat> Nothing else to do in prison, I guess. We've decided on our escape route. The plan will be carried out at 11 p.m. tonight. We have 20 numbers separated into two units. 
Unit A and Unit B, Unit A will go into the sewer through the ventilation slot of the confinement room, while Unit B will be use a rope. Cli we'll use a rope climb down from the surveillance tower. Interesting wording. We'll use the rope they use to tie us. If we fail, Vincent will surely kill us, but if we stay here, Vincent, Vincent will order them to cut our brains eventually. We're dead either, either way, I'd rather die trying to escape. <laughs> Jeez. Nice little 2,000 words or so. They were planning an, an escape. I got the rope, so... We're going to try to use the rope to climb down something. I kind of already knew that without re having to read this guy's life story. What's it gonna say? His neck has been cut open by a sharp blade. I have other paths to follow. Voices to make. <laughs> yeah, it's it's, it is not quite as bad as trying to read a recipe, uh, recipe online. People not only put their life story, but their, the story of their ancestors into uh, recipes online. Shotgun, hey! Shotgun, hey! That was worth coming into the showers for. Only have 16 shots though, okay. Alright, time to look at the map. Too many damn doors. Alright. Yeah. I was thinking it would be this door. Please open, thank you. We're in a big room here. According to the map. God, dude. <sighs> Bullshit. <laughs> That's what that is. You can't just get around them. Because if you go around them, they like fucking teleport in front of you. Fucking four continues. Really? I'm going to use the shotgun on those guys. Fuck that. Hunters are annoying as always, yeah. Oh, uh, Jesus Christ. Time to redo the entire facility. Cool. I just, I hate bad checkpoint systems and cheap ass enemies like that, man. It is stupid. It's just bad. voice acting in this game, yeah. Okay, I got the key. What else did I get? 
I need to get the shotgun in the shower. Did I find shotgun ammo already, or do I need to pick it up still? God, the slow rate of fire is killing me. Is that how you unlock cheat codes in Goldeneye? Fuck off. Give me the rope. Give me the rope. in here? I don't think so. Oh, right, the cell. Back through the cell again. Man. All the reading, like, really slows me down. So it feels like I, I just, like, lost a ton of progress. But it's like, if I just skip the reading, it's not that bad. I even got anything out of any of these cells. Just the, uh, just the guy's, uh, diary that he kept for his entire life. I think I still have it. It's not in here. Cool. Yeah, do I have shotgun shells? I think I do. Shotgun bullets. I I still have the shotgun too. That's interesting. How does that shit work? So this is the big death room. Right? Yeah. Is there another shotgun in here? Can I get more shotgun ammo by going through here, maybe? Thing. Interesting checkpoint. Well, like, continue system, I guess. Strange. Alright. Shotgun on the hunters? Is what I'm thinking. Or should I sh uh, save my shotgun shells? Do you think? I'm thinking I'm gonna gun them down. Because these guys are just... Total bullshit. Fully loaded. I'm thinking shotgun on these guys. Yeah, mean to them. They're mean to me. I'll fuck them up. They still got the booty? Yeah, they do. 
<laughs> Alright, just a, a minor setback. Redoing the entire prison. No big deal. I treat them like that. They're assholes. Hook on the wall. I've used the rope. Down we go. I was like, shit, am I supposed to get around him or what? Shotgun bullets, cool. Yeah, just sliding on into me. Imagine this game with, like, limited handgun ammo. God. I'd be so stressed out. Every Mr. X gives you something. Just slap me with his ass. He's, he's definitely worth killing. He's, he's not that tough, really. Especially if you get some good shit, yeah. Flame rounds. Why did... Why did Mr. X have a... <laughs> he had like a little party room. Yeah, he gave me he gave me a love tap. With his, his bouncing booty. Should I heal? I'm in caution. Maybe I should heal. Yeah, I like the music. The Mr. X party music. <laughs> Heaven's Night? Is that... Is that the place in Silent Hill 2? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> That's interesting. Club hall key. Oh, no. I'm gonna heal. Fuck that. I'm gonna heal right now. Also, I'm going to reload. Yeah, Vincent just trying to trying to ruin the party. Mr. X just trying to trying to screw around. Have a good time in this club. Just 
shoot him in his dick and balls. This is a good PS1 game, man. This is fun. <laughs> this is really... This is an interesting experience. Where's he at? Where you at, big boy? I got a Mr. X around every corner. <laughs> this is the best Resident Evil. Honestly, it's the most fun I've had on a PS1 Resident Evil game. Yeah. I like killing Mr. X. <laughs> it's not like fighting Nemesis in RE3. Umbrella. So this is where the city is controlled from. Interesting. He remembers a, a tiny old man. I, I love the voice. <laughs> the voice acting. Ostrich beer. What's it say? No quality of the world. Beer? No, no one quality of the world beer? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Wow, my amnesia is cured. I walked around for a while and shot Mr. X a few times in his dick and balls. I'm cured, doctor. This does make me think of House of the Dead. That's some good shit. No, 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 no. None of that bullshit. Not around here. I will not stand for it. Solving this problem right now. What do we got? One more? Just one more? I like that they don't have iframes, you know? You can just shoot them. It's just, it's just fun to play. Like, I know it's gonna take two shotgun blasts to take them down. Magnum rounds, thank you. And no box. Like, dude, I can just pick up items. Amazing. A better House of the Dead, yeah. I would agree. Like, I, I do love House of the Dead, but it's like, it is kind of a bitch to play through, honestly. <laughs> this is fun. This is like a full, actual, you know, home console fleshed out video game experience. Not a cheap ass arcade shooter. Okay, why? Like, I feel like I can fight back, you know? I don't feel completely powerless. That spawn was bullshit, though. You see that? Put me in this room with fucking five guys just all standing around me. But it's like, you can deal with it, you know? House of the Dead just kind of fucks you really hard. Makes you reset your entire game, you know, because arcade game. Eat quarter. This music, man. I think I have the soundtrack for this game on my computer. I 
have to double check that, but pretty sure. Need to listen to it. We're going to floor 13. I really like the soundtrack, yeah. Uh, I don't like the liquor. He's crawling around under me right now. <laughs> I don't like it. The fuck do I do? Should I go back down? I tried that. <laughs> I tried it, it didn't work. I swear. Please. Just, just don't freeze. <laughs> Whatever happens, just don't freeze. Let me play the game. <laughs> He's remembering. <laughs> Mr. X here trying to make me shit and piss my pants. Crazy bastard. You know just how to get me going. Oh no. Oh no. I got fucking cornered. Piece of shit, man. Shotgun bullets. Ah, there's the item. The stupid chair almost killed me. Uh, it's a notebook computer, but it's been burned. Oh boy. Who's... Oh, Vincent's Diary. We get to hear my own life story now. Commander Vincent's Diary. <clears throat> Last night, a group of guinea pigs confined to the prison escape took weapons and caused a riot. The guinea pigs who were responsible for the incident were all shot to death by myself. But it will cause a lot of trouble for Umbrella Headquarters. If Umbrella Headquarters becomes aware of this. The evil chair, man. The chair was fucking me. This could spoil my plan of returning to headquarters and collecting my reward for my great achievements here in the city. I ordered the prison chief to report the incident as a mass suicide, but I will also have to order the others who are involved not to talk about it. The people of the city who have been organizing opposing me are now trying to gather information, intending to report to headquarters what I did. Yesterday that little boy, Lot, told me that a spy sneaked into the city. He didn't... didn't... S a spy didn't snuck into the city. He sneaked into the city, okay. I guess that spy may have something to do with the rebellion happening here. I'll let him for now and see who he works for and why he is here. Then I'll kill him. It's a sad story that the only person that I can trust in this whole city is that little kid, Lot. The people of the city seem to be prepared to hand the prosecution report to the headquarter people who are delivering the new guinea pigs next week. They say that they say that they have evidence of my doings. I can never allow them to reveal that. Those citizens will regret what they are doing. I'll teach them what happens to those who oppose me. <laughs> this yeah, this guy is a big bad boy. Now that they know who holds the power, 
have spread the T-Virus all over the city. Uh, of course it was done so that it looked like an accident. The city should be completely contaminated. Now I can go back to Umbrella Headquarters and get promoted for my great achievements at the factory. No one can oppose me now. Wait. There is one person that I have to take care of. <clears throat> it's that spy. I have to eliminate that rat who sneaked into the city. <sighs> More water. <clears throat> Not the rat that snuck into the city. <clears throat> the rat that sneaked into the city. Let's go through the hole. It's completely broken. <laughs> yeah, I would say so. <clears throat> it's like not even a computer console left. So gonna be back to the liquor room. The door is locked. Card key. Big brain moment. You see that? Thought so. Are we continuing to ascend the tower? Zombies, they, they get a little funky sometimes. They start kind of jazzing out on you. I don't see any items. We're going to move along. I love in this game that like when you run over something, he automatically picks it up. It, just, it already knows that you're going to pick it up. Like, why wouldn't you? Just come back home. Interesting. I love this too. Stop it! Let me go! Stop it! Shh! Don't be afraid. I'm not going to hurt you. Yeah, fuck off, mom. You're listening to. Your brother? Oh. Leave her alone! Lily, run, go! Lot! Oh, it's Lot. Put that down. I won't harm you. I promise. It kind of looks like James from Silent Hill 2. But like, like kind of, kind of chunky. You'll kill me if I drop it. I'm not stupid. Now stay back. Don't come any closer. I know you think that I'm a murderer, but you're wrong. I would never do anything like that. Yeah, Vincent's got a tiny ass head. Vincent's tapping record. <clears throat> Wire tapping record of Vincent. We can no longer tolerate what Commander Vincent has been doing. To deprive him of his position, we must obtain conclusive evidence of his evil doings and report it to headquarters. We realize that he is very intelligent and cautious. As a last resort, though, it was very dangerous for us was to wiretap his phone conversations. Finally, we obtained evidence that was potent enough to deprive him of his position. His This tape record, or contains his conversations on the the prison breaking in incident last month. 
It proves that he shot those young people all by himself and that he tried to hide the truth. Furthermore, this tape reveals that before coming to the city, Vincent had killed his colleague only for the purpose of his own promotion. If we could hand this tape to the corporate people coming to the city next week, he will lose his position for sure, but the city will be peaceful once again. Okay. So they were plotting against Vincent. Recording his phone conversations. I want you to leave that Umbrella Corporation. Is this the way to go? Let me check the map. I hate that when I go into the menu, it like pauses the music. Or like it makes the music very quiet. It makes me not want to pause. Because I want the music to keep going. <laughs> No zombies. The coast is clear. Hole in the wall. We got a light over here. We got two elevators. Let me check that hole. There is a big hole. Something incredibly powerful must have created this. There is a big hole. Alright. One of these, it's broken and it won't move. The elevator has not yet, it has not reached this floor yet. Oh yeah, my boy, he's back. Come on, let's do it. I know what to do. Bait and attack. Yep. Shoot him in his big man titties what you got for me this time shotgun bullets thank you he's such a nice delivery man yeah I, I like kicking Mr. X's ass wow we just like <laughs> the elevator just like drops it's like one of those those amusement park rides that just like launches you into the ground. Stepping on glass. Lots of broken glass. Alright, can I mess with this? No. Can I mess with this? Notice. Through the metal detection within. One second through ID card, a left card reader? Oh, caution, for security precautions, please use your ID card. Uh, I don't have an ID card. Yes, I do. So I think it, it only gives you a limited num amount of time. See, now it's red again. Now it says don't go through. Okay. Down we go. I wish I could have played the Silent Hill arcade game. Oh fuck. Where are you at, bitch? The arcade's really fun. Yeah, it sucks. I couldn't I couldn't find a working copy of it. Please, don't do this, dog. Just 
Can I empty my clip? Yeah, enjoy those no iframes, bitch. How does that feel? I guess there's a there's a group of people that like collect arcade games and or arcade cabinets. Maybe they have a copy, or they have a they have a cabinet for Silent Hill Arcade. Maybe I can stream it after all sometime. Go back? Oh fuck! <laughs> Hating this game already. I'm I'm enjoying this one. I think this is this is fun. I fucked up, Jerry. Sorry. I didn't see your message in time. Hey! What did I miss? Was it a good gun? Probably. Of the grenade launcher, no. Ah, oh, that sucks. That's a door. Well, at least I have the shotgun. Fuck. Hey Sky, the RE playthrough is going pretty well, pretty well. I finished uh, RE1 today, so that is uh, Resident Evil 1, t uh, 1 and 3 and 0 done. This is the fourth one we're working on. Is he dead? I think he's dead. This game's pretty fun. I'll have to use the revolver. Yeah, help help me make sure that I don't miss uh, really important stuff like that. I, I fucked up. You never played one? One, like the original PS1 version of Resident Evil 1 is, to me, a huge pain in the ass. Resident Evil 3 is pretty fun, though. I really liked 3. Um, one grew on me the more I played it, but... Uh, man. It's tough. It took me... It took me like 11 hours. Not quite 12 hours. To beat Resident Evil 1. Oh. Fucking big spooder. I'm poisoned. What do I do? I <laughs> fucked up. I could have just run past them. Yeah, all the door opening cutscenes. Still in this one. Yeah, we're playing this. Dude, I'm having a blast with this game, honestly. <laughs> have you played this part a lot? Are you someone that does not like this game? I, I heard that it was generally negatively received from uh, fans of the series. I think this is fun, though. I'm just running around, blasting the bad guys. Picking up all the items that I want to. It's not good. <laughs> I am- I am thoroughly enjoying this. I finished RE1 today, uh, Dennis. Pretty happy to uh, knock that one off the list. After this, we got RE2 on the PS1, and then Code Veronica. Yeah, the PAL version and the JP version. That's what Cherry said. She said uh, the 
the other two versions of this game had light gun support, but not um, not NTSC. I think Cherry said it, or Atari Beer Pong. Someone was uh, reading about it, maybe. Bloodborne PS1 remake. I was I was thinking about doing it when it came out, but when it came out, everyone was streaming it, so. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for that one to to age like a fine wine for a bit. I do want to do it though. Loved exploring exploring these houses. Oh, oh, that is a zombie. He got some bloody pants. I, see, I could see that from a mile away. He's bleeding out, so we're good. Yeah, RE7 remake. This was uh this was the inspiration for the uh, the PT game, you know, Silent Hills. It was it was based on this actually. Not many people knew knew that. Time to get lost in these houses. This way? I'm I'm so bummed I missed the grenade launcher. I'm stupid. I'm dumb as fuck. <clears throat> Someone is trying to spook me in there. Lot's diary. Here we go. I guess every every person in this game has a 20 page diary. Hmm. Not having a grenade launcher in Resident Evil isn't like not having a tank in a GTA. Yeah, I fucked up. Yeah, we, we can still get the revolver. I think we'll be fine. I saw some prisoners at the arcade today. They all had sleepy eyes. One of the girls even... S sla slavered? Slavered? I d I've never seen that word before in my life. One of the girls even... Uh, slavered. <laughs> Those slavering girls. Uh, some of the boys were glaring at me. They wore rugs and smelled rotten. <laughs> Stinky, dirty-ass boys. Like Dad and Commander Vincent told me, they were very different people from our Umbrella families. Dad told me that they bring them to this island so they can operate on them and make them into decent people. I think they are doing the right thing. I hope they will become decent people sometime soon. This is so weird. They brainwashed everyone here. I heard Commander Vincent killed those people who tried to escape from the prison. I wonder why such a thing happened. I know they are inferior to us, but did we have to kill them? Is this what I believed in? Umbrella and my dad were supposed to help the inferiors by operating on them. Why did he kill them? The city is a, in total panic. Monsters are everywhere and they are attacking people. Those Umbrella people who were very nice to me suddenly started attacking me. I need help. Someone please, uh, someone, please someone rescue me. Got the four words mixed up. Slave a red. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that word is. I've never seen that word in my life. My dad and my mom turned into monsters. One of the survivors told me that Commander Vincent turned the people in the city into monsters. I can't trust anyone now. I have to survive and prote protect my sister Lily no matter what. We have to escape from the city together. Let saliva run from the mouth. Thank you. That's the definition of... Sl slavered? Slavered? We need the text-to-speech lady to uh, tell me how to pronounce it. <laughs> if only Maya were here. Ugh. Who's in there? 
Don't you try to spook me. Knock off James from Silent Hill 2. We'll find you. Don't be afraid. Just pick I won't up hurt your you. child. Where's your brother, Lot? Please. You have to save my brother. He said he's going to the factory by the ropeway. Factory? Factory? He told me that he could find a way to escape from this place inside the factory. But there are tons and tons of scary monsters there. I know that if he goes there, he's going to be killed. What? <laughs> what? Please. We've already lost Mum and Dad. You've got to help my brother. Please. Yeah, the children are like British. I promise. Don't cry anymore, Lily. I may have been a bad person, but that was before. That's not who I am now. The children sound like adults. Two kids. I swear it. <laughs> Lily, you hide here. I'll go find your brother and then come back for you. All right. She's going to get bored and start listening to tapes again. Alright, now what? Mm, I don't know. Don't know what to do. Oops. No, let me out, let me out. Not the file. I do not want to read more. Let's go out here and to the right. I'm guessing. Boop. Boop. It's open. It's open. game already. Time is going by. Oh no. Oh god, please. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I keep I'm so paranoid about the disc freezing now. Jeez. I'm traumatized by those blue blue doors in RE1. Yep. Take your fucking cheap shot, bitch. Enjoy it. It's all you're gonna get. Oh. Back to the handgun. Something in here, though. Thank you. More healing is good. <clears throat> I need more cookie dough, man. This is the service schedule of the ropeway. Okay. Time list, it says. Interesting. 
This appears to be the control panel of the ropeway. You've turned the power on. What was that? I like I saw something. And then I heard it. I was like, please, no no hunters. Oh, these guys suck. These guys really suck. Not even gonna fuck around. I have some healing items. I can use them. It's fine. I think I wasted a couple shots. It's alright, we still have 30. Starting to get to the point where the handgun is just not cutting it. Can I go out here? Nothing else here. Activated the power. I probably could have just left here without killing them. For some reason I thought there would be more to that room. Because the, the liquor enemies are generally not too hard to avoid. Oh. Heart attack averted. Please just let me finish the game. Do not freeze on me. Alright. So we've summoned train cart thing. <clears throat> Alright. That's not good. I feel like I'm relying on the shotgun too much. <laughs> Fucker! Thank you, cutscene. Cutscene just kicked me in the dick. Oh, you... And he just wiggles over to the side. There's another one. Mm, no, there's two of them. Ooh, did I kill them both? Yeah. Beautiful. Feels good, man. Killed two of them with two shotgun shells. <clears throat> Three different paths. Oh, Mr. X again. I know what to do with you. Oh. Fuck. Oh no. He's fucking healing into me. Oh, I think I got him. These fucking dogs, man. What the fuck? It's like locked onto him, but I can't hit him. It keeps fucking turning my camera. I'm not moving the left stick at all. It just locks onto the fucking dog. Whether I want it or not. Ugh, what a fucked up room. Shit. One is full of with uh, Mr. X's, others full of liquors, other with UT troopers. Mr. X knows what to do with me. The tables have turned. <clears throat> I 
three paths. What do you think? A bunch of Mr. X's? I'm thinking a bunch of Mr. X's. I think I could take him. Take him and all of his sons. <laughs> Cursed dog emotes. Which way is Mr. X's? <clears throat> Every Mr. X I take down gives me some good shit too, so... Like, how can I say no to Mr. X? Oh, they don't give me items? Uh, UT Troopers. Which which way is the, uh, the Troopers? Do I go across the bridge? Really want to beat this game. Don't want to have to redo it. The forest. So here? This one? On the, uh, the far left. Alright. Out we go. Cause I can, I can take the troopers, I think. I think they're pretty easy. I would rather not fight the lickers. I'm not confident enough in killing them with the handgun. And plus, we get fucking cat sounds from these guys. <laughs> Some good shit. Oh, oh, someone's spanking me. Where are you at? Hey, douchebag. Alright, I'll heal. Should I just run through? I feel like they're spawning behind me and on the sides. Cat troopers, <laughs> yeah. I think I'm just gonna sprint through. Yeah, run. Yeah, I caught onto that pretty quick. I think I'm better off just running past. They can't really hit me from the sides, and if I keep moving, even their long arms cannot keep up with my apparently very, very muscular legs. I feel them pushing on me. They're pushing me to the left. It's not hurting me though. They're actually accelerating my running. Oh. Get the hell out of the way. Had to wait for him to actually despawn before I could move. Through the gate? Should I explore? I'm thinking the gate. Mm. Can't explore anyways. Let's go. <sighs> little, little claustrophobic through the forest trail. That was fun, though. Oh, what do we got? No, no, no. No, no, no. Kill him immediately. As soon as possible. Yeah, you can't... They can't hurt you from the, the sides. It's funny. Blasted his booty. So like I think he was he was like trying to hurt me, but all he was doing was pushing me because he was behind me. Let's go this way. I'm ready for more hunters. dogs. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, fuck all that. No thanks. You dogs are pieces of shit. 
No thanks. I will not have any of what you are selling, sir. We're gonna move along. <clears throat> no backtracking. Yeah. It's beautiful. Thank you, Capcom gods. For the gift of no backtracking this time. Alright, we got two. At least two of them. Probably three. much ammo. I need to go easy on the fucking shotgun shots. Come on. God damn. They just, they do not fuck around. <laughs> Fighting the hunters is so stressful. bitch. Not too bad. Yeah. Take care of the ammo. Fuck. Really needed that grenade launcher. Oh, I'm in danger. Skip. No? Okay. Short cutscene. So that was coming out of the hole. Yeah. It's very easy to miss the grenade launcher, apparently, because I felt like I was... I mean, apparently I wasn't as thorough as I could have been, but... I don't know. I wasn't rushing through. Yes, he's down. Uh, the other one was like right next to me because I killed that one. Fuck. I hate his slippy slide attack. Yeah, Papa X gonna teach it. Gonna teach me a lesson. He's really gonna give it to me. Okay, good. I have a strong weapon besides the shotgun. Appears to be some kind of power switch. You've turned on the switch. Good. Main power turn on. Elevator. Let's mess with this if I can. Power seems to have been supplied to this floor. Cool. Time to get going. Yeah, Mr. X doesn't even drop any goodies anymore. Good boys.
this door is closed, it would seem that it is impossible to open it. Alright. Some doors just do not open. I'm assuming it's this way. This seems to be the only other way to go. A key from this room? Or do I have to backtrack further? Did I miss something? Alright, there's a liquor above me, I see him. Appears to be a shutter switch, but there's no power. Going the right way. shoot you 20 times. Damn it. Almost got him. Pretty smoothly. Let's go in here. Okay, so we're on the right track. This feels like it would be the way to go. Killed my first lickers, yeah. I think I killed... I killed these like really fucked up ones that had like thorns all over them. But as far as like, yeah, those like naked lickers. Those are the first ones I've killed. Creature cells appear to be cultivated here. Different plants are being cultivated inside. I just realized I never used those chemicals in RE1. I never gassed out that plant. I wonder if I should have. I feel like I skipped it. Shh. Who's factory worker's diary? Cool. Can't stand it anymore. I have to take the subjects to the operating table and sever their skulls to extract a part of their brain. I do this over and over, day after day. It is awful. Guilt stays with me all the time, even after I go to bed. Commander Vincent instructs us, do not see them as humans. They are just raw material we use to create tyrants with. But it is we who cut their skulls. I can never consider them as just raw materials. They are humans just like we are. I asked Commander Vincent about ways to reduce their suffering, but he ignored my request, saying that by using anesthetics, pure beta hetero non serotonin cannot be extracted. Even if it is the company's orders, I don't believe that we are doing what we are doing is ethical. I'm sure that I'll be sent to the worst possible place when I die. Or perhaps I sh should I say I'm already there. With Jill, there's no need because Barry helps you. Chris, you need them to kill the plant. That's kind of what I thought. Press the mega evil button for Vincent. Yeah, we're going into evil overdrive. There it is. 
Activation disc. Now what happens? Some yell off in the distance. You fucking thing. Come on back. Shit. I'll wait for you. I don't care. Fuck, man. They are tough. Yeah, Lord Shadowcaster, survivor. Out we go! Ignoring that. We've just got one PS1 Resident Evil to play after this. Oh no, the plants came out. I still have Resident Evil 2 to play. I haven't even started that one. Yeah, we're back here, so let's go this way. Damn it. Where do I go? I got the activation disc. Is it back in that room with the, uh, the plant guys? You played Dead Aim. That's the uh, the PS2 one, right? Yeah, I'm gonna kill these guys from far away. I don't trust their long ass limbs. The room with the impossible to open door. Me. I'm trying to remember. Oh, right, right, right. Gotcha. Just a micro backtracking sequence here. Grab me, don't grab me. I gotta play Dead Aim. Maybe next year. I might just do more Resident Evil games next year. This has been a fun project. I'll do the rest of the side games that I don't have this year. Inserted the activation disc. Zombie party now. Should I go through that door? I'm thinking I'll go through that door. Yeah, cool. We have both Chronicle games as part of the, the big pack for PS3 no idea when you'll have the privilege to play them. Yeah, I need to, uh... check on Dreamy's list of Resident Evil games. Try to make sure that we track them all down. Those are pipes making that sound. Danger, hot pipes. 
So power has been restored to this floor now, right? So I can go back to that shutter and open it? Probably. <laughs> Just play Resident Evil games for like the next two months, three months. I want to play Xbox. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that eventually we'll end up with a physical copy of all the Resident Evil games. Some of the ones that I have are digital. I think almost all of these 16 games are physical, just not the remakes. I think I got the remakes digitally on sale a long time ago. I'm just going to play those versions. Push the switch. Can this go any slower? Cool idea to have the box art of the game displayed in that gap between the times. And just get rid of the chat. I like having the, the chat box on the stream though. Sometimes the box art's hard to find. I've thought about trying to work the box art into the overlay. Damn plant boys. Damn, you have all physical copies? Besides, uh... Just Resident Evil Gaiden. Nice. That's a lot of games. Do you have a do you have a working list of games that you've collected, Cherry? I'm working on uh, listing out all the games that I have. It is such a project. Yeah, you should. I'd be interested. Yeah, just just have the chat. Yeah, maybe the box art. Uh, including the box art. I play so many different games, it's just another step. Keep going back and forth on including box art. I could just, instead of having like an image on the overlay, just have the box art instead, pretty much. Because it's like, what would be the point of like, the little you know, 10% of the the, uh, the overlay being like some filler image. Hmm. Keep thinking about it. Oh, is that what you've been up to, Jeremy? I hear you going over your games over there. So what... What good was this? What did I get from here? I went through all these rooms, did all this shit, just to end up here and do nothing. Yeah, that, that website does look really useful. Just go back out through this door? Just go back? Is 
something happen? The giant door? It wouldn't let me do anything. I was like running into it over and over. Trying to open it. Watch, now it's gonna work. Yeah, of course. I just didn't touch the right pixel, I guess. Yeah, my, my spreadsheets, uh, Google Sheets is pretty clunky for, uh, for usage on mobile too. Uh, Mr. X again. Oh, damn it. Stop that shit. I need to make him try to punch me and then dodge his punch. Because when, when he slides, I can't get away from him. This disc is not in the best <laughs> condition. <laughs> this island was supposed to be the one that created Mr. X. Mr. X's. Still being a bad boy. Just killing zombies with his bat. Yeah, yeah, you can't really fight that with a bat, can you? See you, kid. Oh god. As long as the game doesn't freeze. coming. Oh, I still have to reload this bitch, too. Too quick for you. Easy. God, please, please load. Please load. Boy, we got a big raid from Haggard Hessian. My game might have just frozen. <laughs> Welcome in, Intrepid Collective. Avoozle. Welcome. Thanks for the raid, Haggard. How was the stream? What were you up to? Two year affiliate anniversary. Damn. Please load. I don't. I don't know if it's gonna work. But yeah, guys, we're we're working on playing 16 different Resident Evil games through the month of October. I'm working on. Oh, it loaded. This is Resident Evil Survivor. I'm so happy it loaded. I'm sweating now. Lot, <laughs> do you know of any way to get off this island? Dude, I've had bad luck with these Resident My Evil dad discs. Told me that there's a railway station up ahead. A railway station? God damn. I've been powering through. I think it's missing dialogue now. They've been destruction system has been activated. This island will self-destruct in 10 minutes. Gaston break. All must evacuate immediately. Yeah, Indeed. damn it. All the personnel I'm missing important info. The boy sounds 20 years old. <laughs> you, I'm not Vincent, I am 
arc, Thomas the Spy. That was that's what was revealed in that cutscene. Sorry about the. That's right. At the request of my friend the disc Leon fucking S. Up. Kennedy, I came here to investigate. Oh yes, I remember. I remember everything. So he he was the Tell spy. Me the truth. He thought you he was are Vincent. A spy, aren't you? <laughs> Just bop the shit out of that guy. Oh yes. This game's great, dude. I I think this is this is a fun game. And it, is that GG Cherry? Was that the final the final shit? Yes. I'm not Vincent. I'm Ark. Yes. No, we're not done yet. Suffer like G did? <laughs> yeah, we're not done yet. Ark was supposed to be Leon's friend. I'm glad you're here, Cherry. <laughs> to help fill us in on the, uh, the missing details from the glitching cutscenes. Like, I swear, I swear 90% of the, the game works. It's totally fine. Um, switching to my handgun. But yeah, this, this game, this was a... PS1 game that came out in the year 2000. It takes place shortly after Resident Evil 2 and 3. I'm gonna heal. I'm about to get fucked up. I didn't realize that guy was so close to me. Just to be safe. Okay. We're good. Does it ever really end? <laughs> no. My PS1 suffering will never end. Yeah, we finished uh we finished RE1 today. Um So I've beaten Resident Evil 1 on PS1. Resident Evil 3 on PS1 because my RE2 disc completely did not work, so I skipped over to 3 and I played RE0. I played the Xbox One version of RE0 HD. So this is game number 4. Game number 5 will be Resident Evil 2 on the PS1, my final PS1 game for the marathon. More Magnum rounds. It's locked. Still locked. Hmm. Can't read the notice. RE is 0 out of 10. Missed the revolver? I got the, uh... I got... something. Is it Magnum? I got the Magnum. Is that what you're talking about, Cherry? Hopefully that's good enough to get me through the game, right? Appears to be a shutter switch, it's currently locked. Oh, I'm fine? Okay. Cool. Good. <laughs> Give me one smooth playthrough. Yeah, RE 0 out of 10. I think, honestly, RE 1 almost gave me as much trouble as 0 did. Overall, I think uh, 1 on PS1 was more frustrating. Do I go this way? Am I just backtracking for no reason? I don't go this way. Damn it. No goddamn way. Yeah. PS, PS1, RE1 was pissing me off, man. Pet the cat. Yeah, we got the music. We're moving in. We're gonna pet the cat.
he, he just wants to bite me. This game is a game of the year. It's a beautiful creation. This is one of the more fun games that I think I've played in the past, uh, past month or two. You demand a remake of Resident Evil Survivor? I would play it. Thanks for the redeem, Haggard. Cat has been petted. Now he's purring and drooling. And he wants to bite me. Can I go through here? The shutter's down. It's locked. How long was your uh, anniversary stream, Haggard? Yeah, mission accomplished. The shuttered lock in Area E is being released. Okay, that's all I had to do, was run into this console. Now I go back. Got it. Survivor. 20 contestants must survive on a zombie infested island to truly see who will be the last survivor. Yeah, that should have been the Resident Evil show, right? Figured it out. Here we go. About nine hours? It was just unplanned, yeah. Well, congrats on two years, man. My two years is... Um, in March. Kind of coming up. Five, five months away. I can do math. At least they don't poison you. That would that would be annoying. If they poisoned you. Cassette Cobra. Uh, for this game, I was I was talking about like the Resident Evil TV show they made. It should have been a. Uh, it should have been based on this game, yeah. <laughs> it should have been a game show that takes place on this game's island. Master Key. That sounds nice. That seems like a good thing to have in a Resident Evil game. This appears to be the control panel of the cultivation chamber. <laughs> this game was unplanned. <laughs> Curious about the Survivor sequel. Me too. I want to play it. How to extract the material. They are talking about cutting people's brains open. How to extract beta hetero non serotonin To establish a system of mass producing tyrants, it is absolutely necessary that during the process of the gene cultivation, a large amount of pure beta hetero non serotonin must be injected. This material is one of the bra human brain's elements. It has been revealed that the material is mainly produced at the pituitary gland of people at uh, the latter period of developing their secondary sex characteristics. Also, medical data shows that this cerebral material is produced in response to the excessive secretion of non-adrenaline, no, no, noradrenaline, I guess, that is produced from the locus cerulius, cerulius of the brainstem. Okay. Noradrenaline is the cerebral material secreted when people are in a state of extreme tension or fear. As the beta hetero non serotonin only exists in active cells, you can't extract it from a dead brain. Thus, the best way to extract the material is to cut open the subject's skull without using anesthesia. This will cause the excessive secretion of non-adrenaline, no, noradrenaline, well, well, well. <laughs> The pituitary is then ripe for immediate extraction. Vincent Goldman Commander, Tyrant Plant on Sheena Island. Some fucked up shit. Don't want none of, <laughs> none of that gay serotonin. <laughs> the, the, the hetero, the non-hetero what? Three year stream anniversaries in February, but didn't stream long before COVID hit. Couldn't stream anymore. C 
creature being cultivated here appears to be ready to move. We got a big old stinky boy in there. He's raring to go. Controls the cultivation devices. Hey, Mofergy. Welcome. Fight the most beautiful and perfect tyrant ever created. At least the most. It's closest to what a tyrant should be. Do I have to? <laughs> it says keep clean on the door. Keep the door clean. We are towards the end. I swear. Is it beautiful tyrant time? Come on out, boy. Wesker? <laughs> that you, Wesker? I can't believe you're not dead yet. You're human. You must be the leader of the cleaner unit sent by Umbrella to destroy the evidence of this biohazard. Whatever. I don't have time for your pathetic game. Whatever. I have already sent the self-destruction system. This island will be gone in a matter of minutes. Adios, Ark. Oh shit. Oh, this Oh, he's a beautiful tyrant. It's like beautiful Squidward. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go Magnum. Interesting, Arcade Library Hospital, the uh, the first major fork in the road determines what happens during this cutscene. <clears throat> All right. Do shotgun? Okay. Thank you. I only have eight shotgun rounds. Plus six. Fourteen? Is that gonna be enough? He lost all of his green juice, and his beautiful, flawless ass is exposed to the world. <laughs> Seth from Street Fighter. Uh, do I go back in here? The door won't open. Guess not. Let's go this way. Said the island's gonna explode. Oh no. Bitch, please. Okay, we're fine. It's fine. It's fine. Do 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 do. Music is popping off. Everything's falling apart, including the game disc. Can I just... I've used the master key. <laughs> Still stuck on his... his camel toe. Let's run! I gotta show you the cat sounds that these guys make. I don't know why they're cat troopers, but they are. Who was it? I think it was Tyrant 
at the uh, the end of RE1. His ass looked like an epic camera throw. Get on the train! Hurry! It was amazing. Yeah. They just have like Puma sounds. Can I move yet? Can I move? Let's go. Oh. We'll take those shotgun shells though. I see that shit. Try and sneak that past me. The shutter. Uh, okay. Open the shutter. Got it. I push the switch. Yeah, I wonder how much time it actually takes to escape the island. I'm in a hurry. train was like off the tracks and then it went back on the tracks, I swear. Mister. Mister. Mm, we're not done yet. We're getting really sentimental here though. Come on kids, let's go. The sequence cannot be aborted. We did activate the self-destruct sequence. Oh, hello, helicopter. Get in the helicopter! I have to fight the final boss first. I'm not done yet. Yeah. Big beautiful mouth on that it's boy. Still alive. Magnum time. Definitely Magnum. He just did a tiger roar. Yeah, we're using the Magnum. No? Not Magnum? Really? Okay, I'll go shotgun. Really? Pretty tame RE final boss in form. Not Magnum yet. I really want to use the Magnum. Damn it. I'm running very low on shotgun bullets. Let's get him. Fuck. It feels bad, man. Alright. I think that's all my shotgun shells. Zero. I have no shotgun shells. Just handgun then? Do I save the magnum rounds? <clears throat> I bet he has a second form or some shit. How many first aid spray? Because I think the first aid spray stacks in this. Yeah, I'm getting shit on. Not sure what else I can do. There's my last heal.
good? Now we use Magnum. Yeah, I felt like I felt like there was more to this. He's gonna be a big bad boy. Help me, Step Tyrant. I'm stuck. What are you doing, Step Tyrant? Yeah, we got a weak point now. Oh God. <laughs> He's looking better than ever. Fuck. Stop jumping around, bitch. Do I have to hit his weak point? He was about to kill me. He was about to kill me. <laughs> I was hoping I could out DPS him. I was stuck in the corner. Damn. That was close. <laughs> Hurry! All right, time for a fucked up final cutscene. I think we're good. Yeah, the thing came out. That means he's super strong now. Yeah, that, that final sequence. That is perfect for the Magnum. Doesn't look like a bear or a lion. I was expecting him to transform, transform further, for sure. We always in outer space. We're safe. It can't be. Jesus. This is fine. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like software gore. Some good shit. Alright. <laughs> Expect her to just say whatever at the end, right? Yeah, dramatic finish. So we pushed him away with one missile and then shot that missile with another missile. Pretty sweet. Dude, th this game's awesome. I, I love the shit out of this game. It's a two and a half hours. Beautiful. The laggy video or the mutant. <laughs> Yeah, sorry about the sorry about the the fucking the disc skipping. It's I don't think it's my PS1. I think it's the disc, unfortunately. <sighs> Maybe I can fix it. Do another playthrough sometime. You've never played it. You should. I I I think this game is pretty fun. I I really enjoyed this. It's super short. Um just just fun man just goofy amazing end to an amazing game i love that the the credits are seamless too it's just it's part of the magic of playing on original hardware you know can replay with the other paths so that's what i was thinking yeah
according to a re review, Resident Evil veterans can complete this game first time within one hour. Yeah, of course. Somehow my, my playtime is always at least double what, you know, the expected playtime is of basically every game that I play. Inspiration from the Jurassic Park <laughs> with, with the ending. This game was perfect for playing after school. I would, I would have enjoyed this as a kid. The game was fun as hell. Just putting my, my time into the, the sheet. Took the arcade path, three different main paths in that game to go down. So we've got we've got some raid options tonight. I'm gonna be sleeping pretty soon. But I'm gonna swing you over to Greeny the Goblin. Oh, I got rank B. Awesome. I killed 154 monsters. I got gun collection four stars out of eight, it looks like. 76% hit average. Yeah, thanks for thanks for hanging, Cherry. Thanks for uh for adding this game to the, the Resident Evil list. But yeah, let's raid uh, Greeny the Goblin. Greeny the Goblin. Cool dude playing the RE2 remake. He was playing uh, Dead Space the other day. Fun variety stream. Good streamer. This game has all alternate paths. Yeah, that's what Cherry was says, uh, saying. Three different uh, paths you can go down. You get a different ending, sort of. Different cutscenes. Might check it out sometime. This game's fun. I used one continue. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm starting PS1 RE2. Catch you later.